What about Jeff Stanton? How about Rick Johnson? Well, we're going to find out right now. We got any Guy Cooper fans out there? The board is up. The Coors Extra Gold main event. Twenty laps on a John Savinsky built course, and it's a good one. And we are underway. It is Doug Dubok in the lead. Lonnie Tisa running in the second spot. Brian Manley in the third spot. Johnny O'Meara in the fourth spot. Larry Brooks now runs in the third spot. Here comes O'Meara and Machine and O'Meara Tangle. Johnny Alvaro running in the third spot, going after Teacher. Ricky Johnson is in the back. But O'Meara right now is out in front by two seconds over Teacher. Lachine running in spot number three. Here comes Johnson, a challenge to box for fourth. Johnson in the fourth spot. Teacher and Lachine combining to be second and third right now. Johnson in spot number four. And Ricky is moving. O'Mara still out in front and running the race the way he likes to. Very controlled, very calculated. Tishner running in spot number two. Here comes Ricky all over Lachine. Johnson trying to make some time up on Ronnie and the Whoops right now. Lachine looking like he's getting a little tired out there. And Johnson trying to make a move on him. But Johnny O'Mara is starting to pull away. And here comes Johnson on the inside. Ricky's got him. Ricky is in spot number three. Johnson has moved into spot number three. He's going after Teacher. And Johnny O'Mara is still running out in front. Cooper has got by Storbeck. Here comes Ricky to the inside. Ricky now going to dive into the inside of Teacher. Teacher slams the door on him. But the battle for second is pulling up closer to O'Meara. The halfway side is out. Johnny O was out in front to this point last week. And that's when the steering stem went away. The worst part. O'Mara now got a lap rider slowing him down. And I'd have to say right now, Damon Bradshaw, Johnny O'Mara's got everybody at bay. Yeah, Johnny's looking really good. He's still got 10 laps to go. I, he's uh, riding really smooth and Ricky's riding strong. I'm surprised. Ronnie Tishner's riding really yeah, good. Jo Johnson got him, Damon. Johnson passed Tishner. And now Johnson's going to set out after O'Meara. And we have got a battle shaping up. Lap traffic now is going to be a big problem for Ricky and Johnny Bull. Johnny gets through clean. Goes by Larry Brooks. Ricky's got to get by Upshaw and Brooks. O'Meara's got Pascarella. And Storbeck goes down hard. Here comes O'Meara. Here's Johnson, Pascarella in between them. O'Meara's got to contend with Fisher and Andrews as he goes by some more lap traffic. And look at Johnson close in on O'Meara.
And here comes Johnson. Johnson is out in front. And Omero will not let him run away. Ricky went from 12th to 1st. Johnny O'Mara trying to pull that crown in on Rick Johnson. And I'll tell you what, he is pulling in on Ricky. And the white flag will come out for Team Honda's Rick Johnson. Johnson is going to make it two in a row. One Saturday night at Anaheim. Your winner, Ricky Johnson. Second spot and a very hard one at that. It's going to be Ron Tischner. Third spot will be Ron Lachine. Fourth spot, Jeff Stanton. Fifth spot, Jean-Michel Bale. Sixth spot will be Johnny O'Mara. Seventh spot will be Dr. D, Doug Dubach. That main event is one of the finest I've seen in a long time. And man, they're down here just happy. They're extremely elated, but there's not a lot of energy being expressed. Obviously, they're very, very tired. I think all three of the riders in our winner's circle are doing nothing but just sitting there and pondering the race. Uh, Rick Johnson has just taken his helmet off, as I'm sure you can see up on the Diamond Vision. And uh, Rick is, uh, we're just going to give him a couple of minutes, all three of them. They need to, they need to get their win back. It was tough, folks. I want to tell you that. Ron Lachine, ladies and gentlemen, another great ride. How about it? Man, it was tough out there. There was no place to relax, cut your breath, or anything. Yeah, there really wasn't, Larry. I was uh, just trying to hold my pace, and you know, I knew the track was going to take its toll, and just tried to stay smooth and stay on two wheels, and uh, that was even a hard task in itself. I was getting really wild out there, and Almost lost the bike about three times, so I'm just happy to be standing here. And ladies and gentlemen, this is by far his best ever Supercross finish. He's one of those young, upcoming riders of the future. Would you welcome from Palm Harbor, Florida, Ron, Ron. Tischner. Ron. Great ride, Ronnie. I knew, I knew you were going to smile. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with this ride. It's my best finish ever in a 250 Supercross. I'm just really pumped right now. What were going through your mind the last few laps? I, the first laps, you know, it was extremely tough, and uh, the position you were in, you could only try to concentrate on the track. But the last few laps, last few laps, you were in a position of having to uh, think about what was happening. Yeah, the, the first laps, I got a really good hold shot, and I was in second behind Johnny. I was just trying to set a good pace. And um, later on, I got, I got pretty tired. The track was really ruddy and it really worked me out. I just got really tired and Rick started catching up and I started making a lot of mistakes. So I just tried to settle down and keep going. Rick Johnson, RJ, <laughs> what can you say? Uh, go ahead, describe it. Well, I got to confess something. That extra lap, I think, was for me to catch my breath so I didn't look like such an idiot up here. Man, this track was really tough tonight. It worked me out. You know, every time I tried to relax a little bit, I always look forward. There was someone there or someone right behind me, but it uh, felt great. Just like to give this glory to uh, my team, Hanna. Uh, Brian Lottis, my mechanic, did a great job. And also, good Lord Jesus Christ, for keeping me safe, keeping all the riders out safe and sound out there. Rick, tell me a little bit about uh, the start you had and what you had to go through to get where you were. What was running through your mind? Well, I didn't get the greatest of all starts. I was right in the middle, and people were going every which way, people crashing and doing this and that. It was pretty hectic, but... Uh, I just tried to settle into a pace and, and keep an eye on the leaders. My mechanic, Brian, kept me well informed of what I was doing and where I was at, so I was pretty confident the whole time, but this track definitely worked me out. 